hear me out, Dr. Cheyenne Bryant, Nick Cannon, and Cam Newton are all the same person. She just decided that instead of spending her waiting, having multiple children with multiple different men, that she was going to work on her healing. And it's crazy to me that people are shaming her for this. Like, we have things so backwards right now. They, we should not be applauding Nick Cannon and Cam Newton for sprinkling their seed everywhere and creating broken homes. And we definitely should not be shaming Dr. Cheyenne Bryant for not being married and not having kids. One thing I noticed in those interviews is, and anytime someone talks about her, they're like, she not married and she don't have kids. So in my world, well, duh, she doesn't have kids because she's not married. And which is how everyone... Okay, everyone else should think that's how I do. I know that's not what everybody thinks, but the fact that people are trying to use the fact that she doesn't have kids as a dig, I'm like, it's not a dig because she's not married. And even if she is married, she can choose not to have children. But we do this thing where we subtly like give um, praise to single women. Well, it's almost like, well, it wouldn't be as bad if she did, if she had a kid at 41, but wasn't married. So you would rather her be 41, have created a broken home, and not be married? What is wrong with people? Um, and so it's just really, it's just crazy to me because to me, I'm like, you guys are all, you're looking at the same person in three different choices. You have Cheyenne, Dr. Cheyenne Bryant, which is if you're not married, don't go around and create broken homes. That's That's what healed people do. That's what wise people do that's what higher functioning people do they don't go around and create broken homes so they're not lonely or they don't so society doesn't have some special you know feeling for them and then you have cam newton who at the very least is three children it ain't like i mean it's eight children with three different women so he's like mid-tier low functioning and then you have super high low functioning extra low functioning nick Cannon over here so we're looking at the same person but the people who are getting praised are the men who went around and created broken homes and I've noticed as I made a video on my YouTube channel about um, when when Kirk Franklin said that we weaponize uh, marriage um, he also mentioned you know women not having children and how like we will give a lot of grace to women if they have children as if that's better if it's better to have children than it is to be single and not have children and so I just the crazy thing is, is that if Dr. Cheyenne Bryant had a, ch a child, they would be like, you a single mother and you 41 and you ain't married. <laughs> like, it's just like, you cannot win with these people. You cannot win with these people. And so, yeah, do not be fooled. They're all the same person, but they made very different decisions. And I would argue that Dr. Cheyenne Bryant made the best decision out of all of them, which is... I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to work on my healing. That took a long time. That's okay. But what I'm not going to do is go out here and create broken families so that people can't say, you don't have kids. But then for people to then turn around and be like, and you a single mother, child couldn't be me. So I love that for her. I do have other thoughts about her. Ugh, I didn't love her outfit with Cam Newton. I didn't think it was representative of what she was trying to portray. I did. I wanted her to come a little bit more professional, like in her dress, um, because I think what I noticed in the interview was Nick Cannon was just, not Nick Cannon, but Cam Newton was just looking at her chest the whole time, and I was like, oh, I hate this for you. Um, but yeah.